So while the photo can work as a site plan to show the closer context, the neighboring context, again, the problem with the photo is it says too much. And if we want to create more of a diagram, we need to create it ourselves. And that might mean tracing the photo or doing some other things to it, using some of that information, but not representing it in such a realistic way. So what we could do is go back to our plan. In this case, we save this as a location plan. We might now create a copy of this. And instead of making it a location plan, we'll call it a detailed site plan. And in this case, we wanted to make it at 1 to 200. Let's press create. Now, the advantage of working the way that we did before is that we have our worksheets in the right location. So we can trace them. We can say right click on the detailed site photo, show us trace reference. And now, just like before, but instead of having the photo over the top of our plan, we now have the photo underneath our plan and we can trace over it. So we could get some lines and draw the street. And I could just go drag a copy to represent the gutters. I could use a fill to represent the neighboring houses. Now I can't see the, the house itself, I can only see the roof, so I can either guess by tracing the roof. I can look at this and say, well, I know that this part here represents the main roof and then there's a bit of a veranda there, so I don't really care about uh, representing the veranda. So I could just trace the roof and then I could say, well, either using a street view to figure it out or I could guess, well, what would the offset be for the eaves? Maybe it's 450, maybe it's 600. So we can therefore use something like that to determine the envelope of the house. Now this is not exact. This is not an exact science. If I wanted to make this exact, I'd be getting a survey. And the surveyor would show me the set out and the position and the detail, such as the window position of the neighboring houses. That's the point of a detailed survey, a detailed site survey. This is good for just trying to work something out quite simply. more for presentation purposes. Just to know roughly where the house is, not necessarily any particular details about the house. And I can get even um, faster and just use a rectangular slab. I don't need to be precise if that's not completely relevant. So that might be enough for now just to be able to locate and identify where the neighboring houses are and of course in this project there's a lot of neighboring houses. What else do we see? What else do we note? There's trees. There's a big tree on this site so how could we represent that? We could just use a circle. We could make that circle into a different type of line. I have a sketch line that would look nice or I could use a cloud, a bubble if I felt that that would be useful. I could also fill that with, we'll use a, a green fill in this case. So maybe that would be a nice way of representing the tree. Or if I want to be more detailed again, I can go into my library. And then under my 2D elements, there's plant symbols. So I could use a tree symbol like this and get the same sort of result. So there's a lot of different ways to start dressing up the site to make it look the way that I want. Now there's some, uh, the rear site buildings are here, of course they're being demolished. So I can draw them for now in terms of a site analysis, that's good, but of course they're being removed so they don't need to stay there. And so on, and I could draw the neighbouring trees and and a lot of extra work involved with that process. But you can see that we can build up our site analysis plan based on photographic data or something else. What else could we use? In order to draw a site analysis plan, we might also want to have something like a sun 
path diagram. This is from soundcalc.org. I've put in the street address. I've zoomed out to the neighborhood, to the town, but I can zoom back in if I want to. It doesn't actually change the sun. And I can move this sun diagram, both changing angles and changing the time of day. Sorry, changing the date and the time of day. So I can change this to today's not really that important in terms of what is the sun doing, but I could change it to the shortest day of the year or the longest day of the year. So let's go to June 21. And I could change this to midday, and I could use this method as well to do that. Let's change that to 12. It's being a bit precious. There we go. And so that will give us midday on June the 21st. So I can screenshot that just like before and place it in to a worksheet again new independent worksheet and this time we'll call it Sun Diagram June 21. Drag and drop that from the desktop. Now scale is not very important in this instance. All that is important is that I want to have it in the right sort of place. So show trace reference. I'll move the center to align with the middle of my house and then I'll resize this. I'm not sure how big it is. I, that, again, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna make it a lot smaller. So I'll make it 10%. Again, then I can flip that relationship, switch reference with active, and I can still see my sun path in the background now. Now I can redraw that Maybe I want to move it slightly, it doesn't really matter. How do I want it to represent? What do I want to see? I'll probably make it still a little bit smaller. So we'll switch reference with active again. Move it down a little bit as well. Move, drag, and I'll make that that 20%. It's a bit better. Switch reference with active. So I can see it all now. So I could draw it. I could draw that sun diagram and I could draw it in this view or I could draw it on the worksheet. So I can use a circle maybe to represent the whole path. And I'm going to just trace this one because that'll make life easy. And then I can use lines. I should again use some different color lines. I'll make them red at the moment to represent the sun angles. Now I don't need to be perfect with this, I can just be a little bit rough. And that's showing me the sun angles based on winter, and then I could import similar ones for summer. Of course I could make this a little bit more interesting, I could add this to be, create a sun Let's just keep going for now just to finish this off. So move, multiply, rotate, spread, 10 degrees, or I can go move, rotate multiple copies, and I'll use divisions, and I'll make this 8. Edit group and group. Group those together. So now I've got a nice little sun. So I could then copy that around if I wanted to as well. Move, drag, multiple copies. So the point is I can do this in ArchiCAD, I can do this in Photoshop, I can do this by hand, I can do this however I want to. All that we're doing is just building up information to be able to show our 
representation of our sign analysis plan. Now let's copy that before we move on. I'm going to keep this exact same view, but I'm going to change the time of day. So I'm now going to take, uh, sorry, the, the month. I will change the date to December 21st. And take a screenshot. I'll drag and drop that into the worksheet. Now what will I do? Let's put it in exactly the same place to begin with. And I'll use my resize function graphically to do it this time. Resize, define graphically, click on that point of reference. Resize it so it's the same as the other one. Move, drag, and then I'll cut and I'll make a new one. New worksheet, and we'll call this one December. Paste in place, original location, and now I want to trace that one. Show as trace reference. So now I can see it's in the same place. That makes it really easy to see, to show, and then I can use maybe a different color. So maybe I'll use orange this time, or whatever color I want to use. Maybe I use pink, purple, something. And now we'll trace the sun. Use the other one, it wasn't quite as pink as the other one. All right, move, drag a copy, and maybe we could break this line up. Split, split. and I want these lines to represent as pink as well. So now I've got a diagram that's starting to actually make a bit more sense. Now I could add some text to this. Sun, June, 21. What time was it? I have to go back to my picture to have a look. So what time is the sun in the morning? So we're looking at sunrise, 7 a.m. and 701, 1654. And then we can do the same thing for summer. Could have done that better. I could actually use the trace reference, couldn't I? Show a trace reference so I can see it there. I don't need to go off the page. So 540 2007. Great. We could do the same thing with views. We could do the same thing with breezes or wind roses. 
We could do a lot of different things to be able to show site analysis. We could talk about access to the site. We could talk about privacy. We could look at overshadowing. We could do, of course, all of these in 2D, or we could use Archicad's 3D tools if we do model the site and model the house. And we'll have a look at how to do that later so that we could actually do proper shadow casting to see what our structure and the neighbor's structures will do in terms of their shadow casting and during different times of the day and different days of the year. So these are all different ways that we can build up our site analysis plan. We can do it all in Archicad. I'm obviously very familiar with Archicad. If you'd prefer to do this by hand, if you'd prefer to do this in Photoshop or something else, then that might work well for you as well.